gone. Take two around this bitch. <laughs> What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Capricorn for the month of November? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys in this space of walking the fuck away from a person, place, or a team? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, this first time in my channel. I'm Oka. Also, this first time in my channel, look out. I cuss. So, if cussing does not work for you, right damn now. Full free days at the damn building. And I love you long time. Because this is my shit. And I'm a cuss. Okay? Um, also, if you're a new subscriber, hey, boo, hey, welcome to the family. We'll be dysfunctional over here. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We share. We love. We enlighten. We laugh. Posy vibes only over here. Hey, I've been told I might be quite funny sometimes. I don't know. You tell me. That's what they said. Okay? Also, um, if you're a returning subscriber, hey, family, hey, boo, did you miss me? Because I missed y'all. I've been trying to get my shit together emotionally. This book. Act like y'all know this retrograde and I here whooping ass and taking names. Okay? Yeah, I told y'all if my shit ain't right, I'm not coming to YouTube with that shit. All right? I love you that much. Okay? Also, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, you guys. I truly appreciate it from the humblest space ever. The readings, all that. Thank you. Okay? Um, also, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. If you have not done so already, um, follow me on Instagram. It's at mocha underscore love underscore tarot. I do do weekly messages over there. I will learn how to use this IGTV. This girl is glowing up out here. I ain't no shit about technicality. Okay? But I'm learning. Adaptability. We learn. Okay? Progress, not perfection, Capricorn. One step at a time. Get out your head if you think you're going to be comparing yourself to other people in the month of November and going forward and taking that bullshit in the 2020. Worry about what the next person is going to say about you. Fuck them. Two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. Let's get it. All right? This will be for the Summer Rising Venus as well as the Cross Watchers of the sign of Capricorn for the month of November. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and start off with your intuitive messages, you guys. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and jump into cards. Before I do, the song that came up for you guys, you guys, I'm going to, um, I, it, it's Fantasia, but you guys got actually two of them. The other one is from a group called Cherish, okay? The song is called, and they both tie into each other. That's the funny part. Okay, I feel like it's two sides of the spectrum. I'm speaking to Capricorns. I feel that are in committed relationships or are needing to make a decision on which way you're going to go if you have two options to choose from. Because I feel like for some of you all, the lack thereof is making you have go into some type of reflection mode of what it is that you want. Like some of y'all got a ski taste or something, and you like, no, I want to go over and indulge in that shit. Well, it's mine, you know. And Spirit is saying, what are you going to sacrifice? What are you going to do to go get it? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to learn? What are you? What fears are you willing to face? Are you willing to deal with your childhood traumas at this point? Because for some of you all, you're dealing with a person, place, or thing that is triggering a sense of um, abandonment for some of you all. It's also a sense of fear around the unknown. Because for some of you all, I'm hearing unexpected endings. Okay, so some of you all, some of y'all need to see it coming. Okay. You could be dealing with this now or you will be in the month of November, but some of y'all are really needing to trust what you feel, get in tune with yourself versus looking for some sense of validation outside of yourself. Because for some of you all, I'm also hearing ego wars, okay? So some of y'all could be warring with another person's ego, trying to be heard or um, wanting wanting to get your point across but not knowing which way to go about it because you literally feel as if your hands are tied. You tried everything that you could do. And if that's the case, why beat yourself up for it? Hmm. Hmm. A relationship, any type of shit, friendship, it requires two motherfuckers to be in the same or in a common cause. <laughs> Come with me now. Let's go. All right. So, with the intuitive messages for the month of November, what I got for you all was, which is very interesting, I got, I got unexpected payouts. I have reflection of trauma, unveiling. Compassion, emotionally manipulative, collaboration, harvest, self-esteem, compromise, ego death, financial 
abundance, guilty conscience, stalker, self-blame, spiritual healer, closure, fear of success, forgiving the past, complacency, reflection, fear of loss, ego death, compromise, self-esteem, blessed business opportunities, boredom, playing it safe, balance, family truths, fear of loss, and fear of success. That's what I got for you all, Capricorn, and let's talk about it, all right? Said I wasn't gonna do no damn 30 minute video. What do I do? A 30 minute video, all right? So the song I got for you all, and it's actually it's actually matching the overall energy for the reading. Um, the song, the two songs I got for y'all was um. Okay, now they all right. I literally am now hearing Layla. Have I told you I love you, Layla? Have I told you you still mean the world to me? Tyrese, okay? I think it's called Lately. Um, For some of my Capricorns, I'm channeling... Um, feeling really unappreciated. Taking my love for granted, baby. And I don't know how much more I can take from you. You don't do the things you used to do. You don't even say I love you too. And lately, I've been feeling, feeling unappreciated. Okay? So somebody out here is feeling unappreciated. For some reason, I don't know, some of y'all could actually be tied um, possibly to a Leo, okay? Um... Because those those songs are kind of coinciding, okay? Um, and for some of you all, I'm hearing my girl Fantasia. It's called Two Week Notice. She goes, um, this is my two week notice. I resign my position because you ain't treating me right. I've been working on the job, just busting my ass, pleasing you every day and night. I get no raises or no benefits to stay with this establishment. I'm gone. She said, packing up my bags, throwing in the towel, something, something. This is my two week notice. Two week notice, okay? So some of you all this could have to do with the job. You're finally making a decision to actually walk away from the job to something more fulfilling, something more so aligned with your passion your purpose okay for some of you are you walking away to fulfillment i want what i want i said I, I seen what i want i got a ski taste mocha and i want to overindulge it is mine okay for some of you all you're having the courage to walk away from um just a particular so I, i'm hearing someone's vibe a low, a low vibrational vibe low, low vibrational people who are not in alignment with where you want to go going forward or who are not aligned with your goals and your dreams. Some of you all are over being a karmic question to someone. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who's very victimized or maybe somebody feeling this way about you, Capricorn. Okay? Somebody is walking the fuck away though. Done, da -da done, 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 done. Okay? First angel message I got for you all is peace. Archangel Chamuel. Peace comes from remembering, from remembering that only love is real. Okay? So for some of you all, you are being divinely guided to release a particular situation. It's like spirit is using you as a vessel, as a channel to be a catalyst to someone else's awakening or for someone else to actually face their fears or um, some type of recogni recognizing of childhood traumas that I feel like spirit is moving you into a new way. A lot of you all are being forced to, um, you're being forced to come into this sense of adaptability. Some of you all also may have some type of offer or some type of opportunity opportunity to travel in the month of November or some type of offers around it. Some of y'all got Sagittarius coming in and out your damn life when they feel like it, okay? And you need to shut that shit down, set some damn boundaries, all right? And understand that you can release that fear of loss. Some of y'all are holding some y'all are holding on to family situations, not out of not out of fulfillment, but out of a space of obligation. Also, this fear of loss. Or for some of you all, it's this sense of telling the ego that you're breaking a cycle. Yet you're, you're still within. A, it's like 
For some of y'all, this could have to do with the lack thereof of a father figure or an abandon, abandonment by a father figure. This could even be your child's father or your child's mother. I do feel that for some of you all, some of y'all are coming to the realization that your partners and people who you've attracted, especially, I feel like some of y'all are, some of y'all deal with people, you have a tendency to deal with people who have mother issues or father issues that are unresolved. And that's when you guys mirror one another because those vibrations are being taken from relationship to relationship to relationship because you or another person has been using money to kind of, using like productivity or the aspect of chasing money to prevent from truly healing or dealing with the situation once and for all to prevent continuously attracting a particular vibration or a particular cycle back into your world, okay? In order to get something different, you have to do something different. What haven't you done yet before? I'm hearing playing it safe for some of y'all. Some of y'all are playing it safe out of fear of really releasing the situation because you're comfortable. You don't know, you don't really know what you would do without this person. And some of you all, your guys, your ancestors have been pushing you and letting you know, hey, Hey, shit's stirring, shit, shit, shit's cooking in the pot, shit is cooking in the pot. Someone is unhappy, they're releasing themselves, okay? For some of you all, your sign here is a white dove, a white bird, a white pigeon, a white hawk, owl, for some of you all. Some of y'all, this has to do with releasing a father figure, okay? Some of y'all could have recently lost your father. Some of y'all could be dealing with death currently or in the month of November. I hate predicting death, but when I see it, I see it. Some of y'all could also be mourning. Maybe you were in this space for the last, I'm hearing, three to four years. Well, somebody didn't even properly mourn a death of a parent, okay? You feel as if you had to keep going. Someone felt as if they had to take care of the family so they didn't have time to really mourn that. However, you're holding that person near and dear and you're wondering why you can't connect with that person. Or maybe for some of you all, you're connecting with that person here um, within other realms when you go to sleep. And when you're waking up, you're feeling very sad because for some of you all, you're feeling as if you, did, you didn't get that closure. You didn't get to say goodbye I'm here. Spirit is assisting you with releasing that and gaining that inner peace within self in order for you to push through, baby, in a healthy way. Okay? Because for some of you all, this could have actually blocked your creativity or blocked this sense of motion in your life. Some of you all could also be going through bouts of depression. I do see you moving away from that, moving out of that energy in the month of November, okay? Next angel message I got for you all was relationship harmony. Archangel Raggio. We angels are opening up the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now, okay? So I definitely feel like there's a sense of Capricorn. Some of you all may be the mediator of a particular situation. Some of you all, you're speaking your truth and letting somebody know what you deserve, what you desire, what you will have, and ain't no in-betweens. You're going to come all the way right or you're going to stay the fuck way over there. Leave me alone. What you got? You're shaking their ass at the door. What do you have? Because Spirit is showing me what I can have. Some of you all, you will receive some type of confirmation to your prayer or answer to uh, whatever it is that you were asking your guides for through um, through the appearance of a rainbow. Some of you all also may need to buy yourself some pink flowers. There is a need for you all to truly heal the, heal the heart chakra. And for some of you all, you're trying to heal, but yet you want to heal with the fucking perpetrator in your energy. So, of course, you're going to continuously be the damn victim and not see the importance and the lesson that the soul has to gather that the soul is trying to bring to you. Some of y'all are looking at a situation with your ego and, and there's a sense of loss. The spirit is saying you're trying to hold on to okay. So I'm trying to give you the best. But I need you to appreciate it when it shows the fuck up. Or for that matter, put your damn wall down so you don't send that person back packing when that's your blessing you've been praying for. Hmm. Hmm. Realizations. Okay. For some of you all, um, there is a mother figure, a sister, um, a grandmother figure that is assisting you on your journey with acceptance. Teaching you that when you, really showing you through example that when you truly release something, when you trust in something, it, it's, it's like you cause delays when you want it so bad. But they want you to pour that same energy into yourself and your passions and your purpose and what you want to build. The sense of stagnancy. This sense of intensity with emotions. Some of y'all, this is even tying into a previous lifetime. From a previous lifetime. Some of y'all, this has to do with your soul contracts and a partnership coming together in this life. You follow each other from life to life. However, someone, you or the other person, has to release something from a space of peace in order to truly walk away from it. In order to walk into something more fulfilling that you've been trying to manifest, okay? 
which is why some of y'all got a whole bunch of damn frogs coming back during this damn retrograde. But you don't got to kiss all of them to find your damn friends. Some of them are just going to start not integrating because they just can't breathe the air of the damn frequency in which spirit is moving you to. Unadaptable to their bullshit. Okay. Um, when I was actually shuffling the deck for you all, the sign that fell out was Aries. Okay, so some of you guys should be starting something new with Aries. For some of you all, this has to do with you um, you moving in that Mars-like energy, taking action. Okay, so some of you all, you're taking action to um, and, and needing to take, lead, take leadership in either releasing the situation or some type of renewal in the situation by discussing things that occurred in the past and setting up healthy boundaries so that we don't repeat the same bullshit. We don't have time to live on repeat. Okay, so let's get it. Some of y'all, there's some type of truth coming out regarding a child. I feel like it's going to come out in a very interesting way. It's going to come out possibly with someone going through something unexpected with their health. I'm hearing the spirit gave you the chance to, spirit gave us, for some of y'all, this is a very straight, straight up blood message. Spirit gave you the chance to do it voluntarily. You chose not to. You drug your feet. Okay? It's going to be you or another person. Spirit say it's you, Capricorn. All right? All right. No, we're not going to do them right now. I'm going to pause it right now. Let me spell this. Your so messages do you have for Capricorn for the month of November? I don't want to bump this table too much. My damn computer cord is loose. Yeah, I need somebody to help me with a dose on me to give me another fucking computer. <laughs> Cause I know I'm about to, I'm about to broke about three of them now. Shit, like I have to bring out these messages, and I've had the shit don't work for me. My son is an iPad breaker. I've accepted that. Puppy ass, do not lick my phone. Let my 963 play in peace. Listen, some of y'all got a Sagittarius that come in your life and stir shit up, and I feel like it's right at that moment that you've been healing and building. The spirit is saying no or more. Okay, for some of you all, um, there could be. Some of y'all, there could be secrets regarding a, um, a female figure in your life. This could be your mother, uh, the mother of your children, okay? For some of you all, this could involve a um, Scorpio, Cancer Pisces, a water sign. And some of y'all, you asked this water sign. Some of y'all had a conversation regarding someone and what they wanted to do as far as being... Somebody wants to be in an open relationship, Capricorn. They're tired of taking a call. I feel like somebody is being exposed. Some of y'all actually may run across something online um, regarding the reconciliation of um, possibly a fire sign or two fire signs. Someone could have also been dealing with the sign of Pisces who wants to reconcile, but somebody's fearing making the offer because they scared it's going to be some shit. Okay? Somebody wants to move away from a situation that's not going. Somebody's bored. Okay? Got that too. Spirit what message do you have for Capricorn? We love for the month of November. A day go again. Some of y'all have a lot of people coming back during this retrograde, okay? For some of you all, you want to make an offer to possibly an Aries or a Taurus person, but for some of you all, there's this fear of this person being a damn player, okay? For some, for some of y'all, you could have had um, either water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this Aries, this Taurus. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a particular situation where you were given to two people, okay? Or someone was given, okay. Someone could be dealing with the sign of Libra. Someone feels as if um, the other person wasn't really given as much as they could, or someone could have been. Somebody's willing to compromise. If you were going through some type of divorce, possibly with the Libra or a water sign, I feel that someone doesn't want the divorce. Someone wants to come back and compromise. Try. I'm hearing one last try, okay? One last try. One last try before I leave it all behind. I gotta get you out of my mind. Friday night, stop giving a lie. I guess I'm down. Okay, so someone wants to give this one last try. Okay, for some, for others of you, this person, some of y'all, I feel like one person wants to give it a try, and the other person is just like, no, I'm done with that shit. I've been out here exploring my options, and the same like it's great. Okay, and for some of you all, whoa, yeah, somebody is avoiding karma. Somebody is avoiding telling the truth, possibly regarding the family situation. Damn, for some of y'all, hold on. For some of y'all, I heard 18 years. Some of y'all, I heard 20 years. Okay. For some of you all, um, 
Some of you all feel left out of a situation or a Leo is feeling bad about how they treated you. Okay, Somebody could have left abruptly or someone is thinking about leaving abruptly. But yes, I, I feel that two people, there's two people here, they love each other. Some of y'all could have been with each other for a very long time, but the other one is now feeling this sense of abandonment. Someone is healing. And I feel like someone's closed off behavior or picking work or picking something that's having to do with the third party over them is really triggering another person. If they're with the third party, someone is removing themselves, okay? Some of you all have a, um, a water sign, a cancer Pisces, Scorpio. This person really misses you. Some of you all could be, some of y'all could be keeping a secret about a water sign or a child that you have with a damn water sign. Somebody is giving to two families. And they hide the truth from one damn family, okay? Somebody could be, some of y'all could be dealing with either you dealing with somebody at work or somebody that you're dealing with is dealing with somebody at work, okay? Some of you guys, um, yeah, some of y'all, somebody, some of y'all could be reconciling with somebody who you have children with. The issue is, you, you, somebody is a bit hesitant regarding the reconciliation because they feel as if the other person is keeping secrets, okay? Some of you all are going to find out the truth about a situation due to somebody popping up and reconciling on your partner. Somebody, if some of y'all is dealing with somebody in a third party situation, or your partner is dealing with somebody in a third party situation, and this person is extremely fucking obsessive, somebody's truth is literally going to be delivered right to the front door. Some of y'all on here on social media. Some of you all are feeling guilty uh, for how either you treated a child, or a child is feeling guilty for how they treated you. Somebody's leaving behind the way that they were treated. Someone feels unappreciated. Someone feels as if they're looked over. And someone's going to go create a world where they're not looked over. They're going towards fulfillment, okay? Some of you all are going, some of you all are going through this sense of a rebirth. You're re, you're re looking, like you're changing, you're shifting your perception of how you look at relationships. What do you value? For some of you all, you're choosing to put more more time into love because you're yeah again only love only seeing that only love is real you can't take anything materially with you you can leave it behind for and for like ancestral purposes okay but you can't take anything with you some of you guys have a fire sign aries Leo, sagittarius this person wants to come back in however this person does want to come back in and you don't see victory in this situation because in the past things were on a standstill this person was being defensive towards um commitment this person could have been juggling yourself in a fire sign aries Leo, sagittarius okay uh for some of you all this is about expansion okay some of you guys some of you guys are going to have a hard time getting over uh, some type of communication that you're going to receive um, about or from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, something that could have happened in the past regarding children. There could be truth coming out about, uh, there could be truth coming out about where somebody's money is going. Some of y'all gonna find out that someone has a very heavy addiction. You've been thinking that this is another woman, but the third party is really an addiction, okay? And someone feels guilty. This is crazy. Someone has addiction. They feel guilty. For the addiction, but they use the addiction to mask the guilt. Crazy. I heard Pisces. Okay. For some of you all, some of y'all shit is being illuminated. Okay. Some of y'all could also be walking away from a damn Aquarius person, focusing on yourself. You want to put in your work with this water sign or this Leo from your past or this damn. Um, and some of y'all, you have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person could be a new love in your life. And as soon as you're on this floor, this damn new love, here comes this fucking past person. The person who caused all the hurt, the trust issue, triggered the trauma on here, and triggered, triggered the trauma. And this is happening so that you can actually transform once and for all and deal with it, okay? Some of y'all could also be walking away from the sign of Scorpio. Some of y'all, a Scorpio could be coming in to reveal some type of truth. Some of y'all just have to do the Taurus or a Libra. Others of you, somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or an Aries person. Some of y'all could have met someone new who came in and they're everything that you want. You manifest this person, but it's going to require for you to walk away from something that you were trying to resurrect, possibly some type of family situation from the past in order to get here, to get to this fulfillment, to get to this equal give and take, to get to this flow of abundance for things to move forward, okay? For some of you all, 
Somebody's getting a new car. Somebody could have recently got a new car. I'm here in a truck. Some of y'all dealing with a water sign or a Virgo who drink too damn much and you're making a decision to walk away from them. And somebody, yeah, somebody's feeling guilty for not for not giving. Somebody's feeling guilty for overlooking a child here. This child could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This child could also be an Aries person here. Someone is, they're moving away. They're going to go get, they're going to go chase their dreams. They're going to go manifest the world that they want. And I feel like someone else is over, over really in their damn head about it because someone does not want someone to leave. Hmm. Capricorn, for some of you all, some of y'all getting ready to reject the damn earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of y'all gonna get this, some of y'all gonna find out that somebody has been using you for money. Or someone hasn't been helping you financially because they were trying to build elsewhere. They want to be with this Aries person. They want to work it out with someone from their past. Somebody somebody also wants to release a cycle. Somebody's making a damn decision not to jump off this damn karmic wheel. Someone needs to make a decision possibly regarding the slushy y'all. Sag. Do I end the cycle or do I go, do I end the cycle completely and make a judgment for my self-love, for self-worth, for self-worth reasons? Or do I renew a cycle because we got kids even though we, I'm thinking we're breaking the damn cycle, bringing our kids up together, but we have an unhealthy ass bond. So you're just recreating the monster that you still got to heal from. That was conditioned from generations to generations. You're being handed, some of y'all are being handed the torch. Some of y'all could have leave from your chart. For some of you all, someone's communicating with you. This could be a Capricorn, a Libra, a Cancer, um, an Aries person. Some of y'all, some of y'all are wanting to reach out to a person, but there's, there's fear of this person being defensive and rejecting you. Somebody wants to have an honest conversation to be a Sagittarius. Someone could have two families to choose from as well. The mother of their child and possibly a wife. Okay. I feel someone that you have children with is coming in to cause blockages for you. But this person doesn't want you to completely move away from them. Somebody that should be finding out that someone is engaged and someone feels like they, they run this like this aspect of time. Some of y'all have a new relationship coming in. Some of y'all are finding out that somebody's pregnant. Congratulations, this person could be a Leo. But some of you all have a solid offer coming in from someone new. And you really needed to make the decision of being a damn child with the spirit is causing you to be. Some of y'all got some information that's going to come in and shake your fucking world up. It's going to change. It's going to shift the foundation that you once knew to be. Okay? And you needed to make a damn decision and stop fighting yourself internally about these damn Pisces. You already know what you need to do. Some of you all intuitively know that the air sign is thinking about leaving. It's supposed to be a water sign. Captain Pisces, Scorpio, or someone with the initials B and J. This person could also be wanting to travel towards you. Some of y'all could be dealing with someone uh, with the initials R, K, P, X, C, B, K, G, M, D, F, some of you all um, could have found something or will be finding something in someone's phone on accident, okay, some of y'all could just be chilling with Bay, do 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 and either you or Bay is going to see that somebody has to make a decision between, uh, Yourself in a fire sign. Whatever was hidden will be illuminated during this time, okay? Some of you all, yeah. Some of y'all, yes. Yeah, there could be truth coming out about a master manipulator. There could also be revelations regarding someone trying to block your path, causing some type of um, blockage to your path. Some of y'all can also find out that someone was trying to work black magic on you to keep you in this space of unseen, unknowing. Maybe a fire sign has come to shake some shit up. An Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo. Hmm? Someone is coming. 
to assist you with releasing these damn burdens. And walking into this newness, this abundance, this blessed union, this blessed partnership, where there's building healthy foundations, compromise, the foundation of a friendship, and most important, spirit being at the center. And an old person coming in to be a fucking headache, okay? But it's harvest time, Capis. All right, so spirit, what messages do you have for my Capricorn for the month of November? How we closing this out here? What is it that you need me to know? Damn, didn't I tell y'all a fucking shake-up? Some of y'all, there could be a shake-up regarding an Aries person, okay? This could also be a shake-up with you leaving your damn job and going out to actually be the innovator that you are. Taking a leap of faith in yourself, okay? Creating the reality that you want. Healing within self and understanding that you are... Your vibration determines what it is that you attract. Some of you all are, you don't want to live this ordinary life. However, there's fear around what the next person is going to say. Possibly a mother figure it doesn't need you all to turn inwardly and tune out the outside noise. And don't allow other people to project their fears on you. Because you deserve what it is that you desire, what you've been dreaming about. Some of you guys could also be dreaming of someone. You're going through a rebirth. This person is also going through a rebirth. The spirit is saying, stop overthinking it. And worried about the next damn move out of the space of fear of the unknown. Heal your inner child so that you can truly be a, not be afraid to go on this damn journey. And embrace the rebirth in order for you to experience. You don't have to look over. Just look over your shoulder, honey. You don't got to look over your shoulder, honey. You don't have to be worried. The spirit doesn't want you to be worried about tomorrow or next week. Hell, it's a blessing to wake up to. I mean, uh, next week, next month. It's a blessing to wake up tomorrow. That's your part. That other shit is not your part. Your part is clear intentions. Where you want to go? What the fuck is we driving this boat to? Who driving the boat? You driving the boat. Releasing your fears. Finding your voice. Understanding that you are being used as a vessel. And if you don't answer the call, God's will will still be done. So stay ready so you ain't got to get ready, Capricorns, okay? You guys, hit me up if you need a personal reading. This is what I have for you all for the month of November. If this resonates, leave me a comment, y'all. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, all that. Thank you. <laughs> I send you all peace, love, and light, as well as many, many, many wishes of abundance on your journey. I love you all, you guys. Namaste.